Hi friends, this is MD Vegan. Today I'm making another variation of my cauliflower rice. It's mine because I eat cauliflower ah, so like it so much, you know. I could eat it every day. Um, formerly I always ate potatoes as a staple. Ah, that was my best. And now I invented this, I found this for me, the cauliflower, raw cauliflower, and I tell you, it's so satisfying. I have no more food craving out of that. No. And I have, that's a problem of mine from early childhood days. Um, I have been very sick when I was little and I had to eat a lot. My parents and my grandparents, they were all, you know, from the, after the war in Germany, they always said, oh, eat, eat more and that's good for you, so get fat and healthy. Man, that's so I have some food cravings inside and um, so, but this one really uh, gives me the really a really good time. Um, I just blend it in a, a processor, in a food processor, fit it with the S plate here. You know the S plate, the well plate. This is a wave like blade. Uh, put the cauliflower florets in. Just cut a half cauliflower, small cauliflower, medium cauliflower, nothing else. And it just takes only maybe not even 10 seconds. You will see. I can't even dance my hands. Not even 10 seconds, you see, I can't even make a whole round, otherwise it would turn into something mushy. You see that it's a rice-like texture and that is perfect for the cauliflower. I mean, there are so many variations for cauliflower, I tell you, that is really... There is a guy on the internet, I have to get to know him, he's called Dr. Rick Dina. <laughs> he's crazy, I mean, he's super and not crazy, but it is, it is a crazy story because he ate cauliflower every day for 20 years or so. And he's a, he's a doctor, you know, he's a scientist, a biologist. And he has the most amazing knowledge about nutrition for free available. He checks the things out for himself. He does that um, just for the love of it. And then he gives it, gives it to the people. And that's really an amazing person. And he uh, says a lot about cauliflower and I like it. And it's so, it, he has absolutely right. And combining with the cauliflower today, I would some, give some sweet peas here. These have been frozen, but you can always pick your own yeah, from, the sh from the shells. No problem. Yeah. If you have time and money, the more expensive, these are very inexpensive and I love them a lot. I've always had my free in my freezer to make a quick meal. And some green onions here, the spring onions. Just cut into pieces. For the preparation here, to, to come up with this, what you see here, it didn't take me more than 10 minutes. Honestly, 10 minutes, that's all. I cut the little chili, chili, of, um, chili beans here, the chilies, I cut them, seeded them, uh, took the same the peas out of the freezer, and that's all. I had already my dressing ready-made. That's, of course, you have to have that ready, otherwise it takes some, more, some time longer. This is a, just very simple. It is a coconut cream turmeric dressing with pepper and salt, nothing else. It is super yummy. And we show, I show you how I pour it over the, the rice. And it is really, you have to try it. It has to be, of course, if you make a dressing for a salad, you always have to over season or over spice a little bit because in the salad it will um, dilute the flavor a little bit. And this combination here is, I found it yesterday, it's perfect, it's amazing. I have to show you. And I thought about maybe put the other ingredients into it, like cashew nuts or cilantro, some fresh herbs or so. But then finally I said, well, you know, this is so perfect. Just as is with these ingredients, I don't want to put it, put anything else in right now. Maybe later. But for now, I have to show you this simple recipe, which is super healthy and becoming nutrient dense, and really makes me happy. See? Kindly enjoy. You can also subscribe to MDV on YouTube and have another recipe every single day.